seven o'clock now it's friday and i'm feeling good i'm feeling really high energy and really happy because i got the workout done and it was a really good workout and i just feel really good we listened to like a good song on the way home and it just brought all the good vibes you have to sing in the morning do things that bring you like high energy so you can start your day off like the right way and it's truly such a mood booster for like your mental health so try it out but yeah let's shower It's 7.19 right now. Just got out of the shower and put on my moisturizer and sunscreen right here. I've been really liking this one. And I just put on mascara because I'm kind of honestly in a rush. Outfit of the day. This top is from Garage. It's just a green ribbed short sleeve top and it's so comfortable and I think so cute. I love the pop of green. And I think I posted in this on TikTok and everyone was like, oh my god, green is your color. You know, and then these jeans are from H&M. They're just like a straight leg mom jean type of vibe. I'm about to put on YouTube and then do my normal morning, make my breakfast and stuff. Also, my hair has literally just been living in a clip. I didn't blow it out this week, so it's fine. Usually I would blow it out like Thursday for the weekend and style it, but I didn't honestly feel like it. So I'm living a natural. I've also been taking fish oil and obviously my vitamin D that I've been taking once a day. This is great because I'm definitely low on my omega 3s. boyfriends now and I had the craziest morning you guys I dropped half of my breakfast I finished making both rice cakes and I went to grab like the napkin and just like bring it to the table and I think I don't know how I don't even remember hitting like my tripod that was behind me with my camera on it that you guys are on and I saw it start to fall as I'm holding it so of course I had to save my camera and my tripod and then I tried to like catch my food as well saved one of them the other one fell on the floor as you guys saw and I was just like oh my gosh and good thing I had more banana I mean more blueberries or else I would have been more annoyed and then I come to my boyfriend's house I bring my lunch and I brought also eggs to make good thing he also has here i don't even know why i brought my own i was about to put it in the fridge and in my hand it must have been already like semi like had a crack or something in my hand the egg cracked literally in my hand i was like what is in the air today i need to chillax but i'm about to do my morning reading while i drink my matcha and I'm reading Atomic Habits. I love reading in the mornings when I come here. It's just nice. And I feel like yesterday I uploaded a new video. So today I feel like I don't have to do any major, major editing. I do have work to do, but I can start my morning more slow. And I'm on page 55. I highly suggest you guys read it. I told my brother as well. I really like it. It really resonates with me. It's so motivating, inspiring, and it just makes so much sense. And I feel like I love books like that because I already live by daily habits. And I tell you guys that all the time. So let's get into some reading for this friday hopefully the sun comes out more it's kind of just like weird vibes right now outside okay you guys i finished reading a chapter i'm actually making my boyfriend some eggs right now i already ate breakfast as you guys saw and I just put on YouTube in the background. Anytime I'm doing a little task, I love putting on YouTube or watching something because it's just nice to have in the background and not just be silent. So I'm making him eggs. He actually went to go get some croissants. I'm so sad because that used to be our thing. He didn't 
croissants but yeah i put on caitlin nolan channel i just have these random times where i like switch through who i'm watching okay guys we just put on the challenge i don't know if anybody else watches this i feel like i don't know anybody else who really watches the challenge but it's on paramount plus usually it's on mtv so we're just watching this this morning while he eats. and i'm still finishing my matcha i feel like it takes so long to drink these things i told you guys in my last vlog i got new sunglasses or i showed you rather two and these are the other two they came so here's what they look like this one's really cute and unique it kind of looks like it kind of looks like those ray-bans and then these are similar to the ones that i have actually just i think mine are solid black around the sides and maybe more brown um so they're a little bit different but i like this style anyways especially for going to the beach okay these are what they look like i love that they cover my face because i feel like when i do go to the beach i just like to be just calm in the zone just i don't know i feel like i can like watch everybody and like for some reason i feel like they can't see my eyes you know what i mean i just feel like i love to people watch and yeah fun fact but i don't know i like them i like big nobody like talk to me and i don't think i have a solid like black pair of sunglasses except for like the cat eye ones the sunglasses on in the house it makes me feel like i'm on love island when they first wake up or they wear the sunglasses all day long i literally love speak like their accents i love talking in an accent like that and it's just so funny and it's so cool and when me and my boyfriend went to jamaica it's actually so funny because i think it was breakfast or somebody or something like that uh, they asked us where we're from or the waiter that we had asked us where we're from and he's like oh like where's your accent from but it's just funny because i don't hear an accent for myself obviously and i wish i could hear people's like how we sound to people like as a superpower like i wish i can like hear us and the way that they're perceiving our accents so if i start talking with an accent Guys, my lunch is not super appealing, but it's reality. I have this gluten-free ciabatta bread. It's from the brand. It starts with an S. I'll pop it up on the screen. And then just scrambled eggs with spinach and everything with the bagel seasoning. My avocados weren't ready, so couldn't add that. Okay, I changed into joggers because I just love to become few guys know. And staying in jeans all night is not the vibes. So just changed it to my Princess Polly joggers. And it's time for dinner. So we're going to get this usual, literally, we always end up getting the same thing. Brown rice bowl with grilled chicken, lemon roasted potatoes, lentils, and that's it, right? And then a side of hummus. It's so good, so simple, and so filling. And then we're going to go to Pliables later as like our healthy dessert. And we I'll show you what I get when we get there. To loco with no strawberries. It's a loco, no strawberries. And can we do the gluten free uh, granola, please? Guys, so we got a new to loco to share with no strawberries and then gluten free granola. And simple, it's so good. It has Nutella, uh, coconut flakes, banana. This one kind of looks a little slack, though. It looks good. Okay, guys, I have my red light on and this is what i love it's 9 23 on a friday night and i'm in bed like i will take this i love these types of fridays because we went to the gym early sometimes if we don't go to the gym early like we would have to go at night especially if we had like a rest day so just getting it out of the way and not having to do that later on in the day is literally the best so we worked out we just had a really good day and you know ended it early i do have to wake up early tomorrow so i'm also bringing you guys along my day tomorrow tomorrow's obviously saturday and yeah i'll see you all in the morning i'm gonna get some sleep i just feel so at peace right now so see you in the morning i slept so good it was great getting like so many hours of sleep because i slept pretty early and it's raining but this morning when i got my when my alarm was about to go off i heard birds chirping so it was so nice waking up to birds chirping but it's raining and i have to leave in about like 45 minutes so i hate driving in the rain but it is kind of nice and relaxing but it's time to get up i'm gonna get ready eat or i'm gonna eat and then get dressed and then head out also it's april 1st I'm actually going to eat when I get back home because time is kind of going fast and I just want to make sure we get there on time. So I have just some leggings. These are the lounge leggings and then a hoodie. This is just from Aloe. Okay, I'm all ready now. So, so comfortable because of this weather. I can just lay in all day, but we have to go do my taxes right now, which is not fun. Adult vibes. But I'm just excited to, after today, like, I don't want to worry about that. It's, like, the worst time of the year. And as a content creator, it's also just, like, ten times more annoying. So, yeah, gonna do that. Knock that out of the way so I can enjoy the rest of my month. I cannot believe it's April 1st. But, yeah, let's go now. I'm 
finishing up my iced coffee, which all the ice is now melted. I've just been really in the mood for an iced coffee or an iced matcha, which I might make iced matcha tomorrow just to try it out. I don't drink iced drinks a lot. I prefer hot like lattes or whatever, but we're getting ready to go to the movies now. We actually need to leave like right now. We're gonna watch Creed. It came out like almost a month ago now, but we're finally getting around to watch it. I haven't been to the movie since probably before COVID and yeah, who knows? Will I fall asleep? Probably. But yeah, finished up my taxes. It went fairly quick. I actually still need to go back for something else. But other than that, I think everything is all good to go. Still not fun, but it is what it is. And then when we come back, I'll make some lunch. Breakfast is really good. I had like a bigger breakfast because I know we're probably not going to eat lunch until after the movie and it'll already be probably pretty late. So I have also leftovers from yesterday's dinner so that I can have for lunch and don't need to spend any more money. Also, I ended up adding cinnamon. I don't know, almond milk in my matcha is fine, but almond milk in coffee is not something I'm used to yet because it's probably because I don't have coffee every day anymore. So I'm not really like getting used to it, I would say. So it's all right. Good morning, you guys. It is now a Sunday. I like doing days in my life. I feel like I might do them more just because some days I'm like either sitting doing a lot of editing so that one day of a vlog is not a lot. Let me know if you guys like day my, days in my life videos, but it's Sunday, so pretty much brought you guys along my whole weekend. And today I have a couple things that I really want to do. I want to do my hair. I want to do my nails for sure. And obviously I have to do laundry and we'll see what else I get up to, but I'm just feeling motivated to get a lot of things done today because it's a new month. Like, I don't know. I just woke up feeling so motivated, so high energy because I didn't sleep too too late last night. I didn't vlog a lot yesterday and I'm a little bit chilly So I threw on my robe. I love this robe. It's so cozy I feel like every week my laundry bag is just huge and I always have to do like two loads This is my first time trying matcha ice and honestly I just feel like I like it better hot it's maybe because I don't add any sweetener maybe some people like it because they put like maybe honey or maple syrup and it just tastes better ice I don't know I'm just like a hot coffee hot latte whatever type of person like I'm gonna drink it and it tastes fine but I feel like I would prefer it just warm honestly but that's my thoughts let me know if you guys have matcha or if you prefer hot or iced drinks let me know like i feel like i was craving an iced coffee yesterday because like the weather has been nice and i like iced stuff i guess during the day when it's just like warmer out and not first thing in the morning but it's not bad that's just my opinion my first load of laundry is in the washer i have two loads that i'm going to be doing today so that's fine but i'm going to get on the computer right now and just get a little bit of work done and then i think after then i'll do my nails just because i feel like it won't take me that long and i just want to get that out of the way and i have like some editing i want to do so i'm just gonna hop on the computer try to focus up on editing and then i can do my other work that i have to do like for tiktok and stuff so trying to focus on things that i feel like are a priority and just get it done stay focused so that i can like i said have a really productive day and use my time wisely and I just leave the little lamp on so it's just like kind of a vibe in here I just came back inside from sitting outside I was just getting some sunlight and it was kind of windy but I just kept like my outfit on so I'm cozy I just wanted to get some sunlight and some fresh air and while I was outside I was actually filing my nails because I'm about to do my nails right now I think I'm gonna do this light bluish gray color I think it's really really pretty so I've been wanting to do that and then I'll probably put on YouTube or something in the background that I can watch and my parents went to the grocery store so here's some of the things that i put they always ask like okay some things just in case they forget when they're there so some corn we needed to shredded mozzarella because i'm gonna make this ground beef dish that it's so good that my mom makes with the sweet plantains so i asked them to get the sweet plantains corn mozzarella also bone broth so i can have for the week some mandarins and some more avocados that's kind of like just off the top of my head what i can remember that you know i like to have during the week as well so let's get to me doing my nails my laundry's in the dry
Okay, update on my nails. Don't look too close. My hands are just so dry, but it's like a bluish gray. So cute, so different, so pretty. And I feel like my nails are just so short, but I like it. I'm also so bummy. I changed into the bummiest outfit ever because I feel like Sundays, this is my vibe. I'm not really doing much, but also I want to be comfy. Yeah, this is realistic AF. My first load of laundry is out of the dryer. As you guys can see, I have a huge pile. I would fold it right now, but... I'm going to bake brownies. My hair is bothering me because these pieces are like really outgrown. So they just kind of hang out. They don't really sit up in the clip. So it's kind of just at that awkward length. But anyways, so I'm going to make brownies. These gluten-free brownies. I'll show you the box and me baking them. But also, what is this? I think I dropped like hummus on my shirt. I'm just a hot mess. If this isn't scream Sunday, I don't know what does. I'm going to make these gluten-free brownies that are so good. I've made them before. And so yeah, I'm gonna, I told my family I was going to make them this Sunday. So I was like, you know what? It'll be a good treat to have. They're like really, really good. And then I have another load of laundry in the dryer right now. So when that's done, I'll just fold everything and put it all away at once. Also, I'm going to refill my Stanley because I'm a little bit dehydrated. I feel like I kind of have a headache. So yeah, I'm also just trying to take it easy because I'm doing, I'm trying to do like a cycle sync where the week I'm about to be like PMS and stuff before my cycle starts. I just relax, don't put too much stress on myself or too much pressure to get things done and then stress over that so my body can just ease into it and hopefully it doesn't hit me like a truck. And while I bake, I will listen to music or put on YouTube or something. You guys know that's what I love to do. Okay, here is the brownie box. It's from King Arthur. It's really good. Nails are done, laundry's put away, now it is time to shower, wash my hair. Also going to be blow drying it out, finally. It's been two weeks since I last did it. I like to give my hair a break here and there. If I do it one week, maybe I'll leave it natural. Kind of just depends or varies based on the weather. And I just felt like leaving it natural this whole week. Also, the brownies are so good. so much better now that my hair is done it just i feel like myself and i honestly just love doing my hair and i was just had a youtube video on in the background but yeah my hair also needs a trim so badly i kind of just rushed and did my hair in about 20 minutes just because i'm thinking i'm gonna style it on day two and do curls for like a half up half down look so i just really wanted to get the base done so yeah now i'm just going to clean up everything my hair sheds so freaking much and it's so annoying and i'm just so ready to cut it i'm going to now read and pretty much get to bed so i can wake up early tomorrow it's like the best thing to do is to start your week off by sleeping early and then waking up early on monday and feeling good and not super tired so yeah also i read like five chapters in a row last time i was reading ugly love so i'm gonna read some more it's getting good now, so I'm excited. I've been really into my reading kick lately. I read in the morning when I'm at my boyfriend's house. I read Atomic Habits, and then usually at night I'll read Ugly Love. And my sister's also reading this, so we're reading it together. guys i just read all the way to chapter 10 they were not the longest chapters but just so good i literally cannot put it down it's time for me to sleep i am tired and the book like i said was so good i'm really excited to read tomorrow i feel like i love when i'm reading a book and i just want to keep on reading obviously anybody who wants to read a book that they want to keep on reading but i feel like i always struggled finding books that i like in that way so i'm really excited to continue reading and just 
it's nice to just not be in your phone and just read a book before bed especially it's definitely something that i've been doing more often and it makes me feel good before going to sleep and then when i wake up not being on my phone too so just having those boundaries is really important you guys should definitely set healthy boundaries for yourself and really be in tune with how you're feeling and how things make you feel and all that good stuff but i hope you guys enjoy this vlog it was a i feel like a long chatty vlog days of my life i definitely want to do more of these and i feel like this week I probably will do another one of these so if you guys enjoyed them make sure you give the video a thumbs up let me know anything you want to see in the vlogs more just make sure you guys subscribe as well and i really really appreciate it honestly everyone who watches me so love you guys all and i'll see you in the next video